All right. Let me share my screen. So we have an exercise um, that is related with the careers. It's called the ideas to improve the world. And I will tell you why, like wh what is the essence of this session? It's because everything we are trying to do here, every course we are trying to learn here, every knowledge, everything we are expecting to get from 10 Academy, how we want to improve ourselves is because there is something that we will be using that knowledge to solve. And that's something is most of the time a problem or something that needs an improvement in this world. You know, if you are joining to, if you are going to be joining a certain company as you graduate and let's say you get to join 10 Academy, probably as a tutor, as soon as you graduate and you get an opportunity to join 10 Academy here, you are joining to really help us uh, achieve our mission. And our mission is solving one of the biggest problems that we have currently in Africa. We have really less numbers of tech people, uh, sorry, young people in tech. So we want to increase th those kind of numbers so that uh, so many young people in Africa can get exposure to these all big opportunities from all these big software companies out there so that young people can be able to solve our very own problems that we have on our continent. Use that problem probably to even develop a software for yourself that you know is going to be improving people's lives, you know. We are doing this for a reason. We are all here taking these courses, getting this knowledge for this specific reason. It's because we want to contribute to that idea that we improve the world. So we have an exercise on how we are going to be practicing this. How can we leave this even before we start to go into our courses specifically? How do you get to be enrolled with a mission you know, you know, you are getting these courses, but for what? Of course, it's for your better improvement, but you will be exactly using it in one way or another to help achieve uh, your own mission or another company's mission. I believe that is very, very clear enough. So that's why always here, here at Academy, we stress on something. Um, that we call a mission, you yourself having a mission on what you can improve on this world. And that's why exactly we have this kind of exercise, which is very mandatory, which I'm going to be explaining how we are going to be working out on this exercise. And the deadline for submission is today. Um, but again, we, you will be submitting it and we use tomorrow and Thursday um, to give you feedbacks about the mission you created. I mean, the problem, how you handled the whole question, we are going to be going through it. And then um, as soon as you get the feedback, you will be having to have the final hand in assessment on Friday, on December 1st. Also before 8 p.m. UTC. Let's just dive through it. I will come back about the deadlines after. So we have this kind of exercise that we want you to think about. So I will start here before reading everything else. So imagine you were asked to design and implement a project and the project we use technology, AI, Web3, or even other technology to positively impact 5 million people in five years. In a sustainable, that means financially and environmentally and scalable way. So we want you to first imagine this. Imagine you were asked to design and implement a project. And that project, we, we have to use technology, whether it's AI, whether it's Web3, whether it's another technology to positively impact 5 million people in five years 
in a sustainable and scalable way. Do you understand that, guys? Give me some heads up. This is kind of you thinking um, some thumbs up. This is um, a way of you thinking out of the box. You know, what kind of, imagine you are just given this kind of project and you will have to use the knowledge you have, that technology, AI or Web3 to positively impact at least 5 million people in five years. It's kind of a huge project. So imagine that. And then we want you to see it and brainstorm with yourself and have this idea. And then you go ahead and briefly describe that problem you will choose from any field. It can be in, in agriculture, it can be in education, it can be in any field, it can be in health, it can be in construction. And then get to brainstorm with yourself on how your solution will be impactful, scalable, and sustainable. And then detail your answer. I will come back about, about the requirements after, about the amount of words or characters you have to be following in this kind of um, exercise. And then what we want you to do after, let's say you got your project, you understand its mission, you understand where you want it to go, you understand the details about it, and you understand how it will impact full, it impacts the community positively. We want you to extend that kind of information into a storyboard or a PowerPoint presentation. You can do five slides or six slides. I'm going to be give you a guidance, like a guiding uh, PPT, but you can also design yours. And you will be using that to suitably share with us, um, you know, how you're going to be starting to implement this kind of project. In your presentation, you're going to be ensuring the following. You're going to be stating the problem that you're addressing, as well as the field, its industry, or the sector it is in. And then you should be specific about the problem you want to solve and be specific about why you have chosen this problem to solve. Illustrate using at least one data source. This is crucial. Illustrate your problem and how you're going to be solving it, at least using one data source to scale the problem. This problem should affect 5 million people globally. 5 million people globally. Is this issue occurring only in your country or even in your region? If it's in your country, then probably this is like half of your country or to those who have bigger countries, it's like a certain sector or district for you. So is this issue that you're going to be solving going to be targeting specifically some people in your country, in your sector, in your districts, or even in your region? If yes, identify why it is only occurring in your country. If no, identify other areas in the world where it is also occurring, because we want to understand specifically what's the problem. We want to understand how you're going to be solving it. And then also in the other first place, we want to understand why do you think that problem is occurring in your country or even in your region? And then secondly, moving forward, how would you solve this problem? What approach are you going to be using? Is your proposed solution realistic in your country, regions, current economic states? Because at some point, the idea can be super, super big that probably cannot be accommodated with certain factors within our countries, for instance, economic states within your country. So the, pro the solution you're going to be bringing, it should be realistic. And then also, can you propose the solution um to be realistically implemented using technology that already exists you get i believe you're on the same point and then the last point that you should focus on is what role will technology play in your proposed solution to this problem that kind of technology we talked about ai web3 or any other technology what do you, what role do you think it will play um, 
in providing this solution to the problem. Will this technology be sustainable, affordable, and will it be applicable to all regions where this problem is occurring? Compare your proposed solution to current technology being used to combat this problem. It might be um, like you should be thinking out of the box. There are so many problems within our communities, within our countries, within the whole region, like the whole African continent. So try to imagine all those problems, which one do you believe or do you or do you have some passion about solving? And also imagine to yourself, is the solution you are bringing realistic? And then also get to imagine to yourself, what role will technology play in this proposed solution? You get what I mean? If it's in a rural area and your solution can be solved, let's say, I'm imagining some crazy stuff here, can be solved by chat GPT. Who in your region uses chat GPT, my friend? Just let's get to be realistic here. Let's get to be realistic here and get to bring like realistic solutions to our existing problems that are within their community, our communities. So for this assess assignment, also, please feel free to use both images and words that communicate and complete the, this exercise. And we are going to be giving out bonus points. If you find solutions to the pro, if you find past solution, solutions to this problem and illustrate how your solution has improved the original or previous solution that was there, sometime at some point you might be thinking a problem that is already there but there, is, there are other people in our communities that are working on it but you feel like they are lacking some points into making it better so how do you get to ensure um that you are bringing a solution that can improve to the solution they are providing you get what i mean it doesn't just have to be one new idea it can be an improvement to an existing solution I hope that is clear. And then also, um, while this exercise is going to be challenging you to be creative about your presentation, it is also important that the content you submit remain within the following parameters. Before we go into the parameters, I want to share with you um, this kind of slides that I prepared with you on how exactly I want you to navigate this kind of exercise. So going first, I've prepared a slide of six pages, just a, as a guidance on how you can do it. So slide one, I want you to be, it to be of a cover page. It should be the title, the, in, the title, the kind of innovation, highlighting the innovation solution for that global impact you want to create. And then the subtitle, it can be using technology for positively impacting lives. What kind of technology? Like highlight it there. And then also add your name and email to the slide so that we know who exactly it came from. And then slide two, it should be introduction to the problem. You know, the title it can be the challenge we face. It doesn't, don't write the challenge we face, just write the title of the problem. Probably it's climate change, or probably it's something else. And then briefly describe the problem and global relevance. Make sure that you are including specific data illustrating the magnitude of the problem affecting at least 5 million people. Like, tell us what happened. What happened? I'm giving you an example of climate change. How is that specific issue affecting? These all 5 million people highlight the field where it is in. If it's climate change, then it's in climate change. And um, of course, highlight the fields impacted by this problem. And then slide three, it should be about your solution. Title, it should be your innovative approach or how you are naming your solution. 
and then describe the proposed solution using technology. Explain why the solution is realistic and implementable in your country or region or whatever your problem is. It can be in your small community, but make sure that that small community has 5 million people. And then discuss the scalability and sustainability of the solution. Just use this slide for that alone. Then slide four, ensure that you are focusing on the technology part of this solution. How, we, how are you going to use technology as a catalyst in this situation? Detail the specific technologies. It can be AI, it can be Web3, it can be anything um, that is going to be involved and explain how this technology is sustainable, affordable and applicable globally. You know, when I'm talking about globally, it should be within that kind of community you want to solve that problem from. And then compare it with the current technology being used for similar problems. Because probably this problem is not being solved in your sector, but it is being solved in somewhere else. So compare it to the current technology. Do you think um, if we are using, let's say, the same technology to solve the same problem here in Rwanda, do you think that is applicable in your country? And then slide number five, improvements over the past solutions. If there are no past solutions provided to your problem, please keep this slide number five, like don't talk about it. But if there are any solutions that has been developed throughout, um, throughout a certain amount of period in the past, and you want to improve on it, make sure that you are highlighting it here the kind of advancement you are making by beyond the previous efforts that has been invested in um in eradicating the same problem how light how your solution is going to be improving upon this and then number six it should be also about the funding strategies please um we want to understand in your just um current economic and business knowledge how do you think aside from getting government fundings but what other potential sponsors do you think can be contributing to that problem you have you know so far i want to ensure that everything is aligned can i get some thumbs up can i get some comments can i get any questions before we proceed okay i've started to get some thumbs up okay i'm super happy that it's super clear you know yes please um abdelahman i'm going to be sharing the slides you can follow it and just enter all the informations in there i wanted to make it easier for you so your job is just to think about how you're going to be handling all these and then copy and paste all your findings in this slide and then submit it. Um, let's go back to, to our challenge description. So some of the tips for a good and better and easy to read PowerPoint is that you should be using bullet points when you're trying to explain uh, your problem or anything that you're trying to explain. Try to use some bullet points. Don't just make a, a whole slide of the whole paragraph, like 10 lines, unstoppable. Like, no, use some bullet points, easy to understand things. And remember to use keywords. If you are talking about climate change, let's say, there are so many keywords that comes with, um, that comes with climate change and climate uh, management, everything around climate management. I mean, try to use those kind of words. If you are talking about technology, keep using the kind of tech keywords. If you are going to be using AI or Web3, keep using those kind of words. Let them, let, a stress seat, let, let someone who's going to evaluate your work see that you are stressing your idea, the solution to your idea, to the problem that is existing. I hope pretty understandable. Then also make sure your presentation is easy to read. Don't really use many different colors. You can just keep black, 
Uh, you can keep in some blue if there is a hyperlink to probably the data that you got from a certain source. Like keep really a few colors and few uh, fonts. And then make sure that you proofreading your content before submitting. Proofread your content. And also you are delivering the content to of this assignment differently. So you need to ensure that you only answer the questions that have been provided in this exercise. That's another one. Number four, there are only three main points that you need to address aside from the bonus points. So do not add any irrelevant information. And when I'm talking about the three, three main points, it's this one here. State the problem, how you should solve the problem, and what role will technology play in your proposed solution? Just three things, three key things. Don't just spend time in thinking about extra ideas that are not into the scope of this exercise. Then also, make sure that you have a cover page, like I put there in the slide, and make sure it has your name. Don't forget this because your work then cannot be recognized. Each slide should be titled to indicate which point you are addressing. Like I showed you here, let's go back here. For instance, this slide is titled Funding Strategies. And this one here is titled Improvements Over the Past Solutions, Technologies Role. Like ensure that uh, every slide is titled so that it can guide um, the evaluator much better you know, into your documents. And then you can use images. We highly, really recommend this in this presentation. For instance, if you are talking about, let's say, waste management as a big issue in your community, make sure you bring in like a picture of how it looks like, you know, probably we all have waste in our countries and we are trying to do waste management in our countries, but it doesn't look bad the same, on the same level. Just take, grab some picture from Google or that you already have and put it there so that we can see like how crazy or how big is that issue, you know, in your area. So I really, really advise to use different kind of visual contents in here. I've tried to gather different support and um, tutorials that can help you into um, designing, going through these kind of exercises and designing your solution. One we have about designing thinking, storyboarding, Another one we have cover story boarding. These are all links that you can click here according to what you need. Uh, creating a good PowerPoint presentation. Probably if you need a much better appealing one, please be looking at this. Or even have sports marketing like PowerPoint presentation, anything, anything you want, just be clicking on it if you feel like you need it and go straight there to get some more points. So the tutorial session, um, okay, he, we plan to have it today because it's much better having it today and having it delivered today because we should be giving you advices and making sure that everyone has submitted their final work by Friday, by Friday. But for today, you have to hand in your first draft. Anything you will be having by 8 p.m. UTC, Please submit it. Please submit it. And uh, if you have any questions, please reach out to Abdullahi. You can see him on the call right now, or even be reaching out on me on Slack, or just post it on Slack. We are always there reading every kind of text you send in there. So we'll be helping you right away. And then um, the first in, in hunting will result results um in they will result in feedback from your tutors when your assignments will be handed back to you that is on thursday so you are going to be submitting today and we go through each one of the um documents you submitted and then uh we provide you feedback by thursday you work on the feedbacks if you don't receive the feedback then that means you have done it correctly like you've checked all the 
rubric bullet points but if you receive the feedback just ensure that you work on it and then you submit your final hand in on friday this is going to be considered um you know throughout these applications review everything about the applications and, and assessments that you are um, submitting during this application process. So let's go through the marking rubric. We are going to be looking at four things specifically in this assignment. The first one is the slide structure. Does it have titles? Does it have references? How many slides, like having to exceeded six slides that we want? How is the layout? How is the font cohesion and all the whiteness? This is going to just be having minimum marks, which is 10%. So ensure that you even win this 10%. Then the quality of writing, the use of English comprehension, you know, the use of your grammar, the punctuation, the tone, and the delivery, or even error free. We are going to be looking at this. And then also number three, which is the biggest problem analysis. We want to see how you have analyzed your problem. Do you have a clear understanding of the problem? Is their analysis convincing or it's kind of, you know, AI generated, but I, I believe you are all ethical and we don't do that. And also, is it logical? To what extent has the idea been thought through? Like, we want to see the details to how you really went through your idea and the kind of, how you think about the problem, how you think about the solution you're going to be bringing. We want to hear every details about that. And then something which is very final, your overall presentation. We want to see if you have adhered to the guidelines of the exercises and also we are going to be checking if the sentences are short or did the individual use bullet points like highlighted has the assignments been proofread is it presentable is this something you can bring here and present like you know if it was real business to you and you were so much invested into it right now and you're presenting it probably to an investor and you need some funding is it something really presentable that they will look at and be like yeah um you know we are putting our money in this you get what i'm what i'm saying then um we are not going to be something that are highlighted here we are going to be really giving out individual feedbacks because this is something that we should all be committed to it won't be some generic group kind of feedbacks so you're going to be receiving individual feedback about your work so why do we care about this kind of exercise again? Really, why do we care? It's something you can ask yourself, aside from what I said, that we are all learning this so that we can go out there and solve some problem. You know, We also believe that this kind of exercise is going to be helping you identify and recognize these challenges that require modern day solutions you know, to help you develop realistic solutions to problems and help you articulate and plan your solutions. Also to improve your writing skills and challenge you to think critically about global issues and how they impact you. Really beautiful stuff. So when you are done with making your PowerPoint, make sure that you download your documents into PDF and submit it through the assigned submission link. Rodas is going to be dropping it on Slack, like now, now, after the session. So make sure that you are on it and you are following all the guidelines. We have competence mapping. This is something you can go through for your own everything. Just go through it. We have further readings. Everything you want to know about how to make different things, just make sure that you also go through it. I'm going to be sharing these two documents with you like, let me share right away mm -hmm. um someone said where do we have to submit the assignments we are going to be sharing with you the link of where to submit the assignments 
write on Slack. And then Carol, when will you be sharing this first? Or oh, I'm sharing right now, I'm sharing right now. Um, this is the challenge details. And then the curve, the PowerPoint PPT sample. That is it. So let's get some questions. Let's get some questions. Is everything clear? Like, are we going to be ready to submit? Okay. Rodis mentioned that all assignments will be submitted on tanks. Thanks, Rodis. Everyone, you had that. So it won't be any other random link. So all assignments will be submitted on tanks. Are we cool? I hope we are cool. Okay, everything clear. Carol, thank you so much. Ahmed, over to you. I can see you raised your hand. Hi, Pascal. Hi. Hi, Ahmed. So it's like when applying for uh, this program, I, I had this question asked, can I submit the same idea again? Ahmed, come again. Please, sorry for that. Come again. When I applied for this program, mm -hmm. I gave an idea. Can mm -hmm. I, can it be the same idea again? Yeah, it can be the same idea. That shows it's an idea that you're really passionate about. Just ensure that you are putting it into through the guidelines that we have now and that you are following everything that is into the requirements. That would be it. Just tell us why that kind of idea really matters to you that you decided to speak on it. Okay, is it in, uh, how, how about if it's in another country? But it's all it's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you mean what, if the problem is not really in your country, but in, in your region, for instance? Yeah, maybe in Western countries, but it's not here. Yes, please share, please share. Just tell us how that is impacting the world or even that specific community. Just, you know, illustrate that, highlight that. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And then Melet asked, uh, are we only going to prepare the slides or are we also preparing the Word document as an essay? No, it shouldn't be as an essay. Let me go back here. So when you read through this, we ask that you extend this into a storyboard or a PPT presentation, much preferable a PPT presentation for at least five or six slides. The PPT presentations are always much easier for any kind of case study presentation. Like it's easier to go through and easy to read, you know, even easy to present. So please ensure that. Or you can even do a storyboard if you, if that's what you also would like. And then Hussein, Pascaline, so are we also to submit our slides draft as PDF today? What about when we update it later? Yeah, share it as PDF today. Today you should share the PDF. And then after when you are given the feedbacks, you will go back to your slides, make the edits, download another PDF, and then share it. That is it. Any more questions, please? Do we all understand the task? I think I can pick some few random people like three, and then if everyone say that everything is okay, then we will be saying bye and go through it. 
So Lillian said, it's clear, thanks Pascaline. If like, I can't find the document, is it on day two Tuesday channel? Here are the documents, but I'm going to be uploading them if you're well. I'm going to be uploading them as well. Uh, but yeah, they are on this channel. You can find them in our chat box, sharing them again. Okay. Can I pick some few people? Um, Zacharias. Is it cool? You can give me some thumbs up or even open your mic. Okay, I can see he is probably, he's trying to unmute, but it's all right. But yeah, please, if it's clear, let's go through it. Let's go through it. Ensure you submit before 8 p.m. UTC today. See you guys. all right all right i'm loving some thumbs up thank you thank you so much see you see you on the other side um of our chat box